Hello everyone, my name is Lana Smyre, and welcome to Dead of Winter, the cop report case files. Uh, this is going to be look a little bit different. This is going to be in black and white. It's in um, kind of the visuals of a black and white film. This is brought to you by Professor Stitch. So if you like what you see, go ahead and check them out. I have linked it in, in the description below. And more than anything, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because I got a lot more coming. But let's go ahead and get started into this. Oh, I love the piano. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this is about. <laughs> I like the logo design. Okay. This is a uh, fully voice as well, so I'm really, really curious about this. The Copperport case files. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's case file 193. They got a. Uh, an illustrious career here. They've gone through plenty of case files. After a trying few months at work, Dr. Lydia Herdwick finally heads home to enjoy her first free weekend in a long time. Looking forward to some peace and quiet, she rides the bus out to the small country cottage she shares with her husband, Ryan. Okay. Day one. 7th December, 1984. Friday. That's a little, uh, a little threatening panda there. Okay. All right. Oh, 100% natural fruit fizz. That is terrifying. Wow. Wow. Kitties were a whole different time there. All right. Oh, it's a little, um, it's a little sensitive, but it's whatever. What's this? Press. I'm too tired to even think about food. Pizza is love. Papa Phantoms. Pizza. Pizza is life. Okay. Now we're at the bus stop. All right. Do I walk anywhere? Am I waiting? Okay. Okay. No more buses until Monday morning. All right. Looks like I'm hoping it. All right. I'm loving the grain and spec like uh, those old black and white films. Uh, it's a nice touch. Like you can even see some of the lines that they added in there. I know some of this is snow, but just like the way it shows. It's... Hello? What is this creepy old thing doing here? Okay, I got evidence here. An old van. Alright. That's cool. I got a, like a full menu. Oh, I could run. It's been a while. I can crawl. Okay. Ah! Yes! Wonder if it was that van. Uh, maybe here? So let's be going to a cottage. Oh, well, this doesn't look like a cottage to me. I kind of expected something smaller. Could have been wrong. Alright, well. Let's give it an old knock. I should have my key on me somewhere. Oh, I have to go to my inventory. Okay. I can't use things. It just doesn't automatically happen. Hello, I'm hey, home. Ryan. You home? Oh, look at that. I'm back here. Okay. I'm here. I'm gonna shut the door right there. I'm gonna snoop real quick. Well, oh, I can actually open things. Hmm. What does this say? 
Today's newspaper. All right. What do we got? What the cow? Christmas countdown. Interesting. I want to examine this. Oh, hi. <laughs> seven day. Wow, this is some detail. Look at that. A copy of the local newspaper. The front page reads as follows. The Animal and Plant Health Agency, APHA, issued a public warning yesterday following a marked increase in farmers and veterinary staff reporting unusual symptoms in cattle across the country. County, not country, county. We anticipated no risk to food safety or public health. Chief and Veterinary Officer Harry Wells told this reporter, We simply urge farmers to remain vigilant at this time, with symptoms including agitated behavior and loss of weight and coordination. Some locals have already drawn their own conclusions, linking the outbreak to increasing number of mutilated cattle discovered throughout the Massingham Valley and the neighboring Dartmoor area in the last few months. The APHA are quick to dismiss these concerns, seeing they are isolated events with no evidence to the contrary. Others, however, disagree. With RFPCA, Officer Lori Cooper drawing comparison to a similar outbreak in the Sussex area earlier this year. In the wake of yesterday's announcement, the British Veterinary Association have ordered a full investigation into what the public is already calling a mad cow disease. Oh. This is back in 84. I remember when this was like happening when I was a kid. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I'll be back there in a second, Ryan. I have things to look for and to look, look into. I may know you well, but I don't know you. A letter from the hospital. Okay. Examine us. Letter from the hospital's administration. It reads as follows. Dr. Hartwick, regarding your file report of a lost hospital ID on the... Uh... On November 15th, 1984, please find and close your replacement. We request that you contact hospital administration to confirm the receipt of this letter so that your new ID can be activated. Please remember that on activation, your current temporary ID and all previous will be rendered invalid. Regards, Albert Wilson, Administrator. Okay, so I'm Lydia, I'm assuming? I know it's the name, but it's just getting to know. So I am in hospital, hospital administration. Interesting. All right. Hello, Ryan. Ryan, I'm here. Still trying to work out what that weird smell is in here. That's not good. Probably gas. And a ham toasty. Oh, hi. How was your day? Oh, bollocks. Okay. Same old carnage. Sounds like you're having fun. <sighs> the fuse is blown on the washer again. Did you pick up the spare I asked you to get? Sorry, it's been crazy today. I completely forgot. Never mind. I guess I could jam a piece of metal in here and jerry rig it for now. Don't be oh, that can't be good. You'll electrocute yourself. Yes. I sod it. Why don't you get a fire going while I finish up here and then we can settle in with the film. See, now you're thinking. Okay, I'm going upstairs. Don't go grab your thing. Okay. Hello? I like... Okay. Go for a long bath. I feel like I'm... Okay. Medicated hand cream. Why is that in evidence? Medicated hand skin cream for the treatment of eczema. Don't know if it's the cold weather, but my hands have been flaring up viciously over the last month. Uh... Okay. Uh, there's so many clothes on every one of these drawers. Drawers locked. I could slip the lock with something slim enough. Mm. Okay. I only have evidence. I don't have items. Stacks of paperwork brought home from the hospital. Oh, there's so much evidence. The autopsy report of an unidentified vagrant brought into accident and emergency last month. Remaining in a panic frenzy state, the injured man died from his wounds a few days later. 
Lead to a phone on the rocks from one of the coastal paths. The case was handed off to the police to confirm. And the hospital's involvement officially considered over. That was kind of a quick investigation there. Alright. Well, I, I got stuck. Alright, so this has got to be the room was what I'm looking for. Uh, nope. That's yeah, got stuff and things. Alright, one of these has got to have something I'm looking for. And more books. That's such a proper way just to deal with it instead of explaining details. Jesus. Okay. Only the top drawers. Do I have anything? Alright. One more. No. Okay. He said upstairs, but it looks like all the items I have to... Um... Can I draw the blinds, I guess? All right, I'm going in the back. Let's go back here. I looked over here. I'm not going back out in this weather. Ah, oh, well, cry me's sake. Okay, adds an empty fireplace. I honestly forgot what you asked me to grab. All right, let's check in this room. Uh, certainly get our money's worth out of this boiler this winter. Oh my god. Padlock to the woodshed in the front garden. Okay. Alright. Figured it out! Aha! Alright, so got that. Let's go ahead and take in this firewood. Let's not let the cold in. We're not heating out the whole rest of the neighborhood. Okay. Can I help you? Okay, maybe I can use these on the... Uh, let me see. From the woodshed outside. Okay. So what we're gonna do is... Aha! Aha! And now... Yes! I wasn't supposed to be doing all the rest of that stuff. I got too ahead of myself there. Is that phone? Where? Are you it? Oh, wow. Dr. Herdwick, it's Robin from Pathology. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. I know it's your weekend off. It's I hate Robin. this. I hate when they do this. I was just going it's over the blood test. Worst feeling. Dead vagrant from last week. Oh, the one I read. Strange necrosis. Probably nothing to worry about. I figured we should just play it safe until the results came back. Yeah, the thing is, I'm, I'm having a little trouble finding the body. I guess what do you mean? Careful about it earlier. He's probably just moved the body into quarantine already. Well, that's a relief. Thanks, Lydia. I'll give him a call. Actually, while I have you, some guy was poking around earlier, asking about the autopsy reports. He mentioned that he was looking for. Hello. Robin? Hi. Yeah, the phone's been in and out all day. The weather's really screwing with the lines. Anyways. Oh, your face! Missed the start of the film. Okay. Your face kind of terrifies me just a little bit. Guess we're gonna go watch that movie now. That looks so interesting. Hello, babe. Let's sit down and. Enjoy a nice horror film. I'm fine. It's just you remember that homeless guy I told you about last. Is this Nosferatu? Yeah, thanks for those nightmares, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's Nosferatu. Well, he died a few days later. I wanted to run a few tests just to yeah. stop the eyes, but wow. now he's being a real dick about it. I do hate that you have to deal with crazies like that. What, Slovini? <laughs> you know what I mean. My scratches healed just fine, by the way. Thank you for asking. He was just oh. a hurt and confused man, not some raging monster. Still, call me overprotective. I don't like mad hobos lunging at my wife. You remember I had oh. to you from a spider this morning? That's totally unfair. I had That's a, not Besides, a great way to refer to, to someone who's homeless. Oh, I see. A lot of those people have a story behind it. Exactly. I could have taken it. Sure you could. Anyway, I'm sick of talking about work. 
Can we just watch the film? Like mm -hmm. stay awake for the whole we need to watch the vampire. Just watch me. Blink. Seriously, though, don't refer to people like that. That's. Everyone ends up in those circumstances for one way or another, and that's just not okay. Eh, classism at its best. Anyways, day two, 8th December, 1984. Oh, feels, like feels like I've been a... What time is it? Ryan? Keep forgetting it's fully voiced. Ryan! Honey, you left me! We're supposed to cuddle some more in the morning. Where did you go? I need my cuddles. Are you back at it again? Okay. There's the washer is missing. I didn't get around to picking a replacement. If I want to get it working again, I'll have to improvise. Okay. That's not a great feeling. Brian! Uh, oh. oh, that can't be good. Huh. That's a lot of blood. Okay. Leads out to the shed. Uh huh? Through the window first. Eh. Hey. Oh, it gets the part I can't see. Key can be seen in the other side of the lock. Okay. Wooden boards are beaten and covered in fresh marks. I can't. That's never good. Let's we'll see if I can get around. Tying it to the post. Okay, so I can't get through the other way, too. Ryan? Honey? Can I... Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's use the brain. That explains the phone. The line has been cut. Oh, so that was on purpose. Oh, okay. Okay. Either Ryan got murdered. Or... Okay. Oh, those are my footsteps. Yeah. That blood stain keeps looking like a person. Um. Alright, it said it was a weird smell. Okay. Can I look in here? Uh, maybe you need some baking soda for that. Okay, let's look around. Maybe in this room? Maybe in the bathroom? Gotta be something I'm missing here. It has to be something outside, because if not, it would have not given me that ability to go out there. Let's look a little around a little further. Aha! Ryan's glasses are all bent out of shape. Uh, oh, hold on. Lenses are smashed, metal wire frames are twisted out of shape. Oh! 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 Hold on. Uh, okay, one of these drawers I couldn't open. This one. That's right. Let's... That work? But it's a... Okay, well, that didn't work. I... Uh, I would have thought that would have done it. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Okay, well that's not working. Okay, so I found his glasses smashed in the wire. Oh, well, hold on. Jam a little bit of metal in here. 
Ah! Alright, well that's one thing. Figured out one thing. <laughs> okay. Ryan's credit card. No! Now there we go. I'm using the noodle. I'm using it there. I just was thinking in a different direction with that. Okay. Let's go ahead and give this a slip. Yep. It's now unlocked. Ah, no, no, no. Small key. What does that go to? Does I go to the shed? I just heard last break. Um. I'm a... That's a little... Okay, we're going to open this drawer. You know what? We're going to shut this door. I feel a little bit safer there. We're going to use this as... No. No. There we go. What's in here? Plastic ruler. I don't even know what that's for. Um, okay. All right. I got a little... Um, oh, I guess he's back. Those are footprints. Okay, can I? I could work once the key's been dislodged. Can't use that here. Okay, so I have the right idea. I just need to figure out what this key is for. Is there another? Okay, let's follow the footsteps. Um, Ryan? My hospital ID. Well, I guess we found out who took my ID there. Let's uh, go to the evidence here. Uh, okay. That can't be good. I should actually examine the evidence and things I get. All right, give me that screwdriver. We got to push that key through. And this is step by step. That's okay. So I got an idea here. There we go. It's pretty straightforward once you. All right. That's too wide. Maybe something slimmer would do the trick. Hold on. Didn't I have his glasses? Or is that evidence? No? Once the key's been dislodged. Okay, I have to be doing this. Okay, something slimmer. Okay. I'm just trying them all now. Okay. Okay, so I got the flathead. Maybe there's more than one screwdriver in there? Okay. All right. Yeah, the glasses are in there. None. Uh. Hmm. All right. Uh. Swear to God, I haven't gotten anything out of this bathroom. Hey, hey, oh. Oh, duh. Hold on. I do this all the time. Look at this. Rusty nails. 
I don't know if I should be touching a rusty nail. That seems like a really, really bad idea. You know what? I'm gonna close that. I don't feel safe. All right, hold on. Let's try this. It's the only thing. Ah, okay. And now. Okay. Is it the, it's locked. Didn't I have a key? Oh, it slid down. Oh, okay. There we go. Ryan! Random junk. I should probably grab this shovel, to be honest. Okay. I'm going to assume you're... Yeah, you are. You're dead back here. My God. Ryan, what happened? I'm pretty sure he did. Injured in the shed, he appears to have escaped his attacker and locks himself inside. Bleeding heavily from the savage wounds to his chest and face, he is unconscious but still breathing. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. That's a good thing. Okay. I should probably... Okay. Oh, no. I... <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Oh, that's, a, that's a good touch. Nice. Okay. Alright, sir. We're gonna have some words. I'm gonna throw some hands here. Ah! Think you're on the other side. <laughs> that was terrifying. Wait, what? That happened so fast. He was in the walls. Okay. Um, look like I'm in a lumber yard. I think. I don't see any like saws or anything, but it seems to be more of a lumber, more of a area for just keeping lumber. Paperwork. Stack of files that have been heavily rifled through. The boxes are labeled property of Hopkins Memorial Hospital are packed full of patient records. Hmm. An old mattress has someone been sleeping in here. Well, it's an item, I guess. Duct tape, binoculars. What is that? Surveillance notes. Numerous photos of me and my home are scattered around a map of the local area. A number of, number of sites and dates have been marked on the map, but the most recent being my house and the hospital where I work. Judging by the notes and the scraps of junk food littering the workspace, this man has been watching me for some time. Well, that can't be good. Okay. Um, keep saw lumber. It looks like it's been here for a long time. Hold on, I just... Ah! I've seen this before on television shows. Wonder if this works. Alright, we're gonna soak that. And do I still have my matches? That's the only thing I got. Ah! Freedom! Okay, I gotta run. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go! Not letting some, like, psychotic man take me. I'm a strong woman. Oh, that's a, more blood. Well, that can't be good. Why is there blood on that window? A dictaphone was laying in the blood. There's a tape inside. Okay. A handheld tape recorder found on the driver's seat of the abandoned van. Dictaphone. Gassette has been left inside labeled Field Report D1284. Field Report. Agent Bishop D1284. Containment protocols remain in effect. With a successful recovery and disposal of Subject Gamma's remains, surveillance continues to the potential infection risk posed by Subject Delta. Field Report Addendum. Undefined disturbance observed within the residence of Subject Delta. Commencing preparations to extract and neutralize. Moving in to investigate. 
Field report addendum. Infection risk confirmed. Subject Delta sedated and contained. Returning to base. Okay, an infection. Oh my god, that's why he wants the hospital reports. Oh, the scratches in the eczema cream. That makes sense. Uh, it's an infection. That's why she was saying she was having such a hard time. And, uh, watch, it was an evidence, right? Hold on. Right here. Medicating uh, skin cream for the treatment of eczema. Don't know why if it's a cold weather, but my hands have been flaring up viciously over the last month. Oh, and he talked about the, uh, the vagrant that scratched her. Oh, okay. Well, I know the first thing I'm going to do is run home. Uh, okay. So I'm infected. That's great. Should I really be running around like this? Am I infected? Honey? A medical syringe and a bottle have been discarded here. Whoa. Whoa! A used syringe and an empty bottle have been discarded on the floor. The bottle's labeled uh, Xylacin, a, uh, a laxin, a powerful methyl benzol animal tranquilizer. Is that how he knocked me out? Oh, well, that can't be good. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, I can burn that rope. Oh, Ryan's gone. Okay. All right, we're going to go out this way. Um, more gasoline. Yep. Use the matches. Okay. Okay, we're going to head out this way. I wonder if... Was, did Ryan go out this way? I... I saw that man earlier. I, um... It's the only way I could think he could have gotten in, unless it was like a forced entry. Okay. So much snow. All right. Uh. Aha! Oh, Ryan! All right. It's the man who grabbed me. What happened here? Oh, no. That's Agent. A mangled corpse slumped outside the phone box. It's hard to say for certain, but it looks like the stranger who's been watching the house. Appears he's blood out from the countless tears and gouges ripped into his flesh. I... okay. I'm gonna call. Let's shut that door. Come on! What these boxes services. are for? What service do you require? Murder. Someone attacked us and he was hurt. Now I can't find him. Okay, remain calm. Can you tell me your name and location, please? Lydia yes. Hardwick. I'm at a phone box behind Black Church Road. There's, there's a body outside. I think it's the man who attacked us. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Hardwick. You said there's someone outside? He's dead. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> I have said so casually. There's an ambulance on the way. Can you get somewhere safe until they arrive? I'm behind my house. It's Pear Tree Cottage on Black Church Road. Lock yourself inside. Help will be there shortly. Please hurry. Okay. Okay. Um, if this is a conspiracy, that means I am not safe at all. But okay, let's let's go back home. It's very beautiful though. I like the aesthetic they went with. It's a it's a lo-fi version, but it's very nice. All right. Uh, so I'm infected with the disease. I I think Ryan might have hurt the man. Uh, okay, that was pretty quick. Didn't even get to lock myself inside. Huh? Why is our heart? Um. Hello, sir. I I was told to lock myself inside. Can you come to the window? No. Okay. All right. Let's go out the front door. 
Please don't betray me. Police, stay where you are. Don't come any closer. What? Help. Help me. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Maybe I'm infected, though. What the hell? Full moon. Am I a werewolf? Is that what this is all about? Stay back! Oh my god, that's the infection! Ah! <laughs> I know it's a terrible disease, but that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Oh, that's good. When, when they arrived... The okay. They discovered the brutally savaged remains of police constable Kensler. Upon entering the property, they found no sign of Lydia and Ryan Perkins. Okay. The body of the stranger, known only as Bishop, was discovered by the phone box Dr. Herdwick described in her emergency services call. The body was later claimed and all records and paperwork destroyed by parties unknown. Okay. Well. Ryan Herdwick was found wandering the moors three days later. Despite his bloody clothes and dazed state, he was otherwise unharmed. When questioned by police, he claimed to have no memory of what had happened. Did I? Did I attack him? Uh, that was Dead of Winter, brought to you by Professor Stitch. That was very, very, very good. Uh, I enjoyed the voice acting. Uh, it was nicely done. Uh, the soundscape was um, was really nice. The aesthetic was really good. So, uh, definitely recommend it. Try it out. See if you can find more evidence than I did. But more than anything, uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And... Or anything. I'll see you on the next episode. Adios.